all right so in today's tutorial we'll be looking at Monte Carlo simulation in R uh, basically how to estimate regression coefficients right so in this example um, suppose this expression denotes the line of breast fit for the linear regression model giving us this uh, where the error term is distributed um, as a normal distribution with mean of zero and some constant variance assuming that the parameter for the intercept is 5 and the parameter for the slope is 4. We want to verify the distribution of these two parameters for 5,000 and for 5,000 and 10,000 simulations given that the error term follows a normal distribution with mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 5 for sample size of 25. How, how do we do this using R? So let's jump into R. So before we start, let's specify, pre-specify some parameters. So we, we need to express get a pita knot, right? Which was given to be five. So that's the true value of intercept. Then beta one given to be four, right? So true value of slope then the sample size 25 so we can then um, create we have to create um, or set the C so that we can get the same result so let's set since we are dealing with random numbers we have to set the C to get the same results so you can use any figure or any f um, numbers of your choice so I've decided to use this random numbers so um, to reproduce the same results anytime you run um, this file or this computation you want to get the same results so um, want to create or get the explanatory variable or the independent variable so we are going to use um, basically we, we, we can actually s um, use sample from any distribution when it comes to the um, explanatory variable or the independent variable here we want to use the normal distribution so we want to sample from a normal distribution so we are using the R norm sample size 25 so let's use m the mean zero standard deviation one we are using the normal um, standard approach so this is to create a sample size of n4 on the independent variable right so that's basically what we are doing so once we have this we can then get a regression model regression model and we know the regression model is giving us y equal to beta naught right plus beta one um multiplied by the spinary variable plus the error term which is given to be R norm we have to um, sample from num um, the normal distribution right from the question the error term follows a normal distribution with mean of zero and standard deviation of five so mean zero n mean zero standard deviation five right so we can then get a regression model the fit of the model so linear regression model dot fit y turtle x so we are interested in the coefficients, right? So let's run. Um, let's run from this line. So I want to run this to see the result that we are going to get for just one um, experiment, right? So let's run. So that's it um, for the intercept. It's actually 
close to the parameter that was being specified and uh, yeah. um, the slope is also close, right? But this is just for one experiment. Now we can also decide to look at um, we can look at a situation where the explanatory variable is coming from a different distribution, let's say gamma, so R gamma. Let's say the shape parameter is two and the scale is three. What's going to be the how would it, um, the estimate going to look like? So we're going to run it. Um, let's run from this side. So we're going to run to see the results. So, so we have a different estimate altogether, right? So this is how you you can play with it to know which of the estimate is going to um, is going to be more close to the parameter of interest. You can also decide to change this the error term to follow a different distribution, let's say R gamma. Right. So let's say um, two or let's say one, two. Let's run from here. Right, to see the results of the estimates. So different estimates altogether. Right. So this is how basically you can play with it to see which of the Estimates is going to be it's going to be, it's going to be close to the true value of the parameter that we want to achieve. So let's go back to our model R norm. Yeah, it's in zero and one, and here to we have R norm. We have zero and five, right? So I'm gonna run. Uh, everything I'm just gonna start from set C to get the first result that we actually um, started with so I'm gonna start from set C so that we can get the initial result that we were looking at so I'm gonna run this so that's what we had initially so now this is just for one experiment and this are the result that we are getting for the intercept and the slope what if we had to perform this experiment a large number of times on average how would the estimate for the intercept and slope look like so this is basically what we want to do so let's start with the code the code for 5000 simulations right so this is basically going to follow the central limit theorem which says that if you are to sample from a distribution that is not, not normally distributed with a finite mean invariance, as the sample size becomes sufficiently large, the shape of the distribution for the status text of interest will follow a Gaussian distribution, right? The mean will be equal to the population mean, and that's basically what we want to achieve. So let's start with a 5,000 simulation, pseudo code for 5,000 simulation. Before we can do this, we have to um, set some parameters so n equal to 5000 that is the number of simulations right or replication if you want number of replications right then we also have to get a container to store the estimate for the intercept and the slope so we are going to we have different ways of doing it but we are, we're just going to introduce one method in this um, example so we are going to get um, we need the intercept estimate so I'm going to use the numeric and right so this is basically an, an empty this is an empty vector to store the intercept intercept estimates right I can copy this and press for slope estimate so SLP so this is an empty vector to store the slope estimate for each replicate right so the slope estimates right so I think we are good to go so you can basically look at how the numeric behaves if you doubt let's say you have a numeric of five it creates an empty vector that you can store values right so 
um, we can then use the for loop to get our simulation done. So for index i in 1 to n number of application, we have to set the regression model. So we set up the regression model. So can basically copy what we have here and paste it because we're using the same regression model, right? Then we can get the model, um, the linear regression model fit LM Y turtle X, right? So with this, we want to store the intercept for each replicate in the container that we have, we have specified. So intercept.estimate store in this container because um, the result that we had here is, is, in a, is a vector, right? I have to use the square bracket twice to be able to get my results. So axe.vector linear regression model fit right I need a coefficient of the first index so the first index for each replicate the first um, index always is going to store the intercept right so um, let's say uh, store intercept for each replicate right so let me copy this paste so store slope for each replicate so I'm gonna change this to slope SLP and then the second index this vector is going to give us a slope so that's why I'm using two here right then we can create a data frame create a data frame for the slope and intercept estimates right so df called data dot frame I need um intercept intercept should be equal to the intercept estimates for each replicate then slope equal to slope for each replicate then um, we can display our data frame right so display um, data frame so I think we should be good to go from this step. So let, let me run from this side. I'm gonna run everything. All right. So I'm gonna run this. So we can look at the first this observation of our data frame, how the simulation was uh, operated. So let's use head df. So display first six um, observations All right so let's run this so it's running that's why you see a red indication here it's still running so um, okay so that is the result for the intercepts and the slope right some is above the um, parameter that we specify some also close to um, the parameter that we initially specified right so by the central limit theorem um, the mean for all these estimates right should be equal to the parameter and the mean for all these estimates should be equal to the slope parameter that we specified so how do we achieve that we can use the apply function right where this is going to be the data frame 
then the margin is basically we are looking at a column for the data frame and then the function we are looking at the mean right the mean for all this estimate for the intercept and the mean for all this so let's run this let's run this so that's it so you can see that um when we estimate the mean for all the intercept is actually close to the parameter that we specified well, which was five right and we, if you look at the mean for all the slope estimate is also so this basically satisfying the central limit theorem right now we can copy this and do it for the 10,000 simulations so let's copy and paste it below so we just have to change some parameters let's make this n1 for 10,000 simulations right see the code for 10,000 simulations right so let's make this n1 n1 uh, n1 so I think we should be good to go so let's make this df1 df1 think we should be good to go so for 10,000 simulations let's run and look at the results run this oh sorry should be one should be one right one so I'm gonna rerun it again it's still running so I'm, I'm gonna rerun it because um, I didn't change the values here so I think it's still running Let me run it so that let me run. So once it is done, we we wouldn't see this red indication anymore. So let's wait as it runs. So the first one is done is now running the corrected um, simulation fast. Okay, so we can see that for the 10,000 simulation for the um, regression coefficient, we can see the intercept is still close to the parameter and the slope is still close. So this is basically how to um, do Monte Carlo simulation in R.